at Brightline, it's much more than a business, is that it's an opportunity that we have to change things. To make big changes, you should start step by step. And this event today is a relevant step. I want to really welcome you today. And you may ask why I was invited to be here. So why we are doing this event today? We accomplished what we were aiming for this uh, event, which is get together with a group of leaders, senior executives and managers and strategic thinkers to discuss how can we improve strategy implementation. Innovation here is about improving your businesses, going from product to services, for example. Over here is really about reinvention. So it's not about selecting ideas, it's about, you know, almost with an evolutionary process, getting the best teams with the best ideas to stand out. And that's how you'll get the real growth engines. And that's what the great innovators of our time actually do. I was most blown away by Lou Gerstner. I had never heard him speak, and he made some amazing points about the gap between strategy and execution. Uh, one is the CEO, the head of the organization, does not take the time to communicate a sense of urgency throughout the organization. And the second thing is, that the organization doesn't realign all the processes inside the institution. There, in life, there are no side effects. There are just effects that you didn't think about in advance. So this idea that you can look at the company in this simple, piece part way and run each piece part well and it'll add up to something good is just not showing itself to actually work. And I think it's becoming less effective as corporations get bigger and more complicated. Strategy implementation is a challenge in all environments because people are difficult to change. And as a consequence, when you get an environment that's disruptive, it's even worse because people don't want to react. At the basic level, from a strategy perspective, you solve problems and you make sure that everybody around you is rallied around the same set of solutions and goes and helps implement those solutions. So that's what is exciting about it is you get a chance to change an industry, which is not something everyone gets a chance to do every day. I encourage organizations to think about digital evolution because evolution encompasses within it the idea that you're gonna be continuously adapting and continuously changing and respond to how the market is moving. One thing I would love for leaders to think about is the ethics of what are the values that we as a society are going to strive towards. The, the biggest takeaway for me that my experiences were common and that the challenges that I've been wrestling with um, are shared. I have learned many lessons. For example, sense of urgency and a portfolio of business models. Yeah, I can learn very much. One of the ones that I will definitely take home that you don't need one approach to strategy, but you may need multiple approaches. What I'm arguing is that we really need a new playbook for strategy, where change is the thing that's normal rather than stability. And we recognize that more and more of our world is project-based. And what that means in turn is that individual careers and individual moves are going to be geared towards what projects we're working on. Uh, some people call this the tour of duty economy. You know, everybody can change the world.